Murphy and Richard Shipley, Freddie Gray's stepfather. And Mr. Shipley would like to read a statement. Um, we thank this hard-working jury for their service to the public, their quest for justice, and their personal sacrifice of their time and effort. We are not at all upset with them, and neither should the public be upset. They did the best they could. We are hopeful Ms. Mosby will retry Officer Porter as soon as possible and that his next jury will reach a verdict. Once again, we ask the public to remain calm and patient because we are confident there will be another trial with a different ver jury. We are calm. You should be calm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Richard Shipley, Freddie Gray's stepfather. Uh, Billy Murphy, you're representing the family. You had a press conference earlier this evening. And, and one of the takeaways I got from that is the family is not angry about what happened. No, not only is the family not angry, they were prepared that this might happen. Because in about 5% of the cases that are tried nationally, hung juries result. Uh, but it's significant that in about 75% of those cases that go to trial again, uh, the jury's uh, verdict is guilty. And in about 20%, the jury's verdict is uh, not guilty. So uh, this is only a bump in the road uh, on the way to justice. And uh, as you can see, uh, my clients are calm, cool, and collected. And they want everybody in Baltimore City to be calm, cool, and collected as well. We got the jury that represented Baltimore City. We got a judge who could not be accused of being biased against the police or towards the police. Uh, that's what everybody wanted. And unfortunately, we didn't get a result. Uh, but we're patient that uh, that will come soon. How put in perspective here that this actually went to trial? Because that is rarely rare across the country and even in Baltimore City that police officers are charged with a crime and then they have to face the, as the wheels of justice turn. Well, it was rare before cell phone video cameras started telling the truth and stopped police from covering up these incidents. And we see how often those cover-ups can be. Where the, where the man got shot in the back uh, by a police officer uh, in South Carolina, he covered it up until the video camera came out and showed that that cover-up was a lie. Likewise, in Chicago, they uh, covered up uh, the uh, unwarranted uh, shooting of a young black man who was uh, walking down the street away from the police, and the video cameras that the citizens had made that story come to life. Uh, so we are confident that around the country, you're going to see um, uh, the cover-ups defeated by citizens' vigilance in uh, videoing all of these incidents, and we hope it keeps uh, going like that. There has been some concern expressed that a mistrial may fuel the argument for a change of venue. Now, there's mixed reaction to that. Others are saying, no, 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 this proves that a trial can be held in Baltimore. How important is that? The only thing a mistrial proves is that this jury of 12 people, selected at random from the citizens of Baltimore, uh, couldn't reach a verdict. It doesn't mean anything more than that. It doesn't have anything to say about the next trials of the next officers, nor does it have anything to say about the result uh, that we'll see when Mr. Porter, or Officer Porter rather, is tried again. Again, we got to be patient. Justice is not pretty. It's like watching sausage being made. And uh, we eat the sausage anyway, except for me, I'm a vegetarian. Hey, would you also take this opportunity to provide a message to people? They want to express their concern. They want to express their love for the family. But, you know, the NAACP, uh, Tessa Hill Aston is urging everybody to do it peacefully. We have a message to them. The best way you can honor Freddie, Gray, Freddie Gray's uh, memory is to respect this process. Uh, we've all worked very hard to get the process to be uh, at this level. Uh, it's not the, the bad old days when you couldn't get a fair trial in Baltimore. Uh, we have seen uh, to the fact that now justice is possible. And you see this family? See how calm they are? Uh, they're not asking for blood. They're only asking for justice. And they're willing to be patient, uh, as I hope that the citizens of Baltimore will be uh, in this next round. Thank you very much, Billy Murphy and, and Richard Shipley for taking time out to talk with us this evening. Of course, we're going to have much more on this story and pass along further developments as they become available. Back to you, Steve.